Hey there folks, got a long one for you today. It is a pair of OU battles against two different people. Uh, it really should have been divided up into two different battle videos, but I'll explain why I combine them when I get to the second battle. So anyway, this first battle is against Snuggy95. Uh, we've battled once before, I think I... Uh, yeah, anyway, I lead off with my Scarfed Hydreigon, I go for the uh, Dark Pulse just to try to do the maximum amount of damage. I'm not too concerned about that Thunder Wave because I do have a Cleric Celebi on this team who can just heal Bell that away if I get the opportunity. Uh, he's going to go ahead and U-turn out. It's going to be super effective, but it's a Uxie. I'm, I'm not really afraid. So he's going to go ahead and swap out, go out into his... Sharpedo expecting to have a free switch. He does not get a free switch and that Dark Pulse does over half, which is pretty darn awesome, I gotta say. Uh, although, it turns out it really wouldn't have mattered too much. He goes ahead and goes for the Protect on the switch. It's obviously a speed boost set and now knowing that he has another turn he can protect, he goes ahead and does it. That's fine by me, gives me a great opportunity to heal Bell, so now that paralysis is gone. And the thing is, you know, he's thinking, oh, I bet I can uh, you know, KO the Selby with a nice strong Ice Fang. He actually goes for Crunch, yeah, I don't know why I was thinking Ice Fang over Crunch, I don't think it actually gets Ice Fang, but goes for the Crunch. I survive because I am a bulky, bulky Celebi, a physically defensive Celebi, and I'm gonna easily KO with Seed Bomb. I'm pretty sure I could have done that at full HP considering Sharpedo is so damn frail. Um, had that failed, I think, I mean, I could have had Infernape go out and use, um, use, whatchamacallit, um, it's not Vacuum Wave, Mock Punch, but then again, he might be fast. Do, 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 uh, they get Aqua Jet? I think they get Aqua Jet, so yeah, he could have used Aqua Jet. Anyway, while I'm babbling on, um, I've got Uchikoma out here against his, uh, Qrem, and... Uh, it carries the hidden power of fire. I'm thinking it's probably either Scarf or Specs, so uh, he's going to be locked in one way or the other. He goes for the, another hidden power of fire on the switch out into Ringo, my uh, Specs Jellicent. This is a hilarious set, and I love it with all of my heart. He switches out into his um, Elect Man, his Electivire. I can't believe he's using Electivire. Uh, Shadow Ball does a lot, but does not get, uh, get the KO, thinking he's probably going to go for an Electric-type move. I so go out into Uchikoma. He actually goes for the Cross Chop, uh, obviously predicti uh, pre predicting my switch. Um, wish I had predicted his prediction, but oh well. Uh, now I have Uchikoma go for the Bullet Punch. It actually does not KO, and he's going to take me out with Flamethrower. I think I calc that, and that was min damage. Uh, but no use crying over spilled milk. This is going to be a double down situation uh, with his life orb, and um, yeah. So, out now is going to come his uh, Landorus. I'm thinking it might be Scarf, considering he sent it out like that. I outspeed. Uh, I think I would out. No, I, I think he'd be faster if he was Scarf. So, I guess maybe Banded, or maybe just something else entirely. Uh, U-Turn does a lot of damage. I'm not sure whether that's banded U-Turn range. I mean, it is super effective, and Landorus does have pretty beastly uh, attacks. Then again, it might just be something else entirely. Anyway, Curum is going to be back out. Not, I don't think that Dark Pulse can take him out. I'm pretty sure I'm faster. Uh, so he goes for the Draco Meteor here. It's going to hit, and um, yeah, so I, I think that he's probably Scarfed at this point, considering I survived that. He goes for another Draco Meteor. I'm, I don't think I can survive, but uh, I needed to sack someone, and I lost my Steel type because I'm a moron. So yeah, uh, I got into Moon, and I'm thinking I would outspeed, but it turns out that I'm a moron. My uh, my Hydreigon is modest, not timid. I knew that that's not the idiot part. The part of the, the the thing is that he is obviously timid. They're all uh, all scarfed. Kyurem's are timid, and so he was able to outspeed, and that sucks for me. Uh, he's at minus four. Switching out is obvious. Go for the free nasty plot. Out's gonna come the Chandelure. Uh, he uses hidden power. I'm like, oh crap, does he have hidden power ice? Uh, no, he... I didn't... I don't know what hidden power that was, but it wasn't anything that I had to be concerned about. So I get off a plus two hidden power ground against his Chandelure, and it doesn't take him out. And I'm like, well, crap. Are you serious? Why didn't it take him out? Why? So now he's going to switch out. Go out into his Yuxi. I go for the Sludge Bomb, predicting a switch, because why wouldn't you switch? And I do manage to take out his Yuxi, so that is nice. Oh, I didn't mark that as a K 
K-O-U-C. Oh well, pretend that I had. So that makes us back a little closer. I just completely missed that when I was um, marking everything. Anyway, he goes for the overheat. I'm thinking, well, he's Scarf, not Specs. I should be able to take that. And the health goes down, down, down. And I die thanks to a crit. And pfft, on you. I'm pissed. I am seriously freaking pissed uh, that my plus two uh, sh uh, Crobat was taken out like that. But oh well. Um, now out is going to come this Landorus. As I go for the U-turn, uh, switch was kind of obvious. Uh, he's down into the red, but I just don't really see what I can do. This this is game over, and I was seriously, seriously pissed. I mean, I was seriously pissed at this point. Um, because looking at his team, he's running a Curum, he's running a Sharpedo, he's running a freaking Electivire and a UC, and I can't beat this team. Uh, I mean, no offense, Snuggy95, you played extremely well. I don't want to diminish that accomplishment, but I was seriously pissed that I lost this badly. So now, I was going to come this QRM. My only hope is that his Draco Meteor is going to miss as I go for the Stone Edge, uh, but his Draco Meteor is not going to miss, and Infernape is going to get taken out. I could have gone for the Mach Punch, and maybe I could have gotten the KO. I am banded, but... Then I, you know, he would have shut up Chandelure and I would have been dead. Oh, Chandelure would have revenged anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, I was really uh, pissed off at that point. I was like, I cannot believe how badly this team is doing. And now there's not going to be another upload with this team for so long. And then I decided, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to I'm gonna do another battle with this team and I'm going to try to turn my luck around. So this is a battle against Frogaholic101. And this is a second battle simply because I did not want uh, the previous battle to be the only battle I had with this team for another update cycle of, you know, 12 to 16 battles. Uh, so yeah, uh, swapping out here, expecting the U-turn, and if he's banded, that would hurt a lot. Uh, Ringo is gonna be like, whatever, man. Resist that hit quite well, and I've got 252 HP, if I recall correctly. Maybe it's not 252, I think I run some speed EVs. Anyway, uh, gonna do a double switch, not gonna want to take a Giga Drain from Verizion. Verizion is gonna go for the Giga Drain, not gonna care about that at all. Um, yeah, I, I guess I could have sent out, actually I could have sent out a lot of Pokemon, I should have actually sent out my Infernape, so I could have kept up the momentum with U-Turn, but uh, yeah, so I go for the Ice Punch here, and against crap, stupid. Um, against Skarmory, it's not going to do anything. I hate Skarmory, and it's a huge problem for my team. I go out into Moon, my Hydreigon, and I'm just going to be able, I uh, should be able to get off a Fire Blast, except for he's got Heatran, so i got to be careful of that Fire Blast, especially considering I am locked into whatever I do. He's going to predict, um, not exactly sure what he was predicting. I guess he thought either I would go for Surf or Fire Blast. Either way, Slowbro could take it. Uh, even though Slowbro is more physically defensive, it's still going to take that hit quite well. So now I'm going to have to switch out because I am locked in. Um, and I go out into Celebi, who shouldn't have too much of a problem. He's going to go for the Thunder Wave, and with Natural Cure, I'm not going to care. Unless he gets me fully paralyzed, I'm really not going to care. So yeah, uh, Slowbro recovers a little bit with Leftovers. Uh, I recover a little bit with Leftovers. Two slow Pokemon. He goes for the Flamethrower. was not expecting a Flamethrower, but... Eh, whatever. And I was not expecting to do that much damage, it's because he got a crit. And, you know, that crit really puts a dent in my team. I do get off my rocks, though, so that's good, I guess. But, yeah, just this is a sucky, sucky situation for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just call Selby back, I'm gonna need it for later. And, obviously, that range of health fire, a uh, flamethrower is going to take me out. Uh, I am hoping, I don't know what I'm hoping here with my Slowbro out. I actually, not with my Slowbro, with my Jellicent out. It is a Spec Jellicent, as I said earlier. Out's gonna come Verizion. Could have gone for the Ice Beam. Instead, I go for the Shadow Ball, thinking it would be the attack that would do the most against the most of the number of Pokemon on his team. Does only about half. Rather disappointing, gotta say. Uh, here I'm going to switch out into Stella Luna, who is a hard counter for this guy. Focus Blast, 4x resisted. Giga Drain, 4x resisted. Unless he carries the Hidden Power Ice, I'm not fearing nothing. So I'm thinking this is going to be a free switch for, or, or you know, not free switch, a free opportunity to set up a nasty plot for me as he switches out and goes out into his, uh, whatchamacallit, goes out into his Skarmory. So here I go for the nasty plot and I'm thinking, okay, just... Air Slash, all the things, rather than Brave Birding, all the things. At plus two, I'm hoping that it does an okay chunk, even though it's resisted. Really, based on this battle, 
I decided that what a uh, sludge bomb, which is so the three attacking moves on this team are hidden power ground, sludge bomb, and uh, air slash. I took out sludge bomb and put on heat wave because you know I just found myself too often in situations like this where I'm against a steel, nothing I can do against it because it's skarmory and it's in the air. Um, I guess there were probably other situations. No, it's really it's really for skarmory that I put that heat wave on, and a plus two heat wave would do a menacing amount of damage. I guess actually for Fortress 2 and Scissor. Oh, can't forget about Scissor, yeah. So, yeah, really, really, uh, Stella Luna uh, really benefits from having Heat Wave, and uh, Sludge Bomb adds no coverage. So, I'm just basically letting him set up, because I'm like, come on, die, die, die! Or rather, not so much die as flinch. I was really hoping for some flinches here, and at this point, I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity for flinch, and doesn't flinch. Now you might ask, well, why didn't I just go for another nasty pot, and then my attacks would be doing more like two-hit KO range, where he couldn't just be roosting off all the damage? Well, the answer to that question is, I'm not an idiot. Obviously, he's going to whirl me out eventually, and I'm actually expecting him to do it any time now. But he's, uh, he's seeing that he has no reason to phase me out, because I'm just letting him set up, so, like a chump. Like a freaking chump. Anyway, go for another air slash. I'm like, come on, get the flinch here. No flinch. I'm actually doing more damage than he's roosting off if he wants to actually do anything other than roost. And I'm just hoping that the flinch hacks works out in my favor. Now, there's also the chance that I could miss. That would suck. Go for another air slash. Come on, flinch, flinch. No flinch. He goes for another roost. And I am banging my head against the desk. He is getting far fewer flinches than 33%, uh, or not 33%, 30% uh, flinch chance seems to be indicating. I am just a stubborn bastard, though. I keep going for those uh, those air slashes. Here he finally puts me out of my misery and goes for the whirlwind. And now out is going to become Hydreigon, so I'm glad it was a, wasn't a Pokemon that's grounded and would have gotten hit hard by those spikes. He's going to switch out, expecting the Fire Blast, I'm not going to take that bait, and I'm just going to go... I think I actually go for the Draco Meteor. I really wish I'd gone for the um, Surf, but he had too many Pokemon on his team that resisted it, so... Uh, Draco Meteor still does a decent chunk to Heatran, and Air Balloon Heatran, now no Air Balloon, so that's great. Stella Loon is going to be able to come out and hit him with a um, Hidden Power Ground. He sets up Stealth Rocks on the Switch. I go for the Hidden Power Ground... He, I doubt he thought I was carrying it. He must have think, was thinking, what, are you going to flinch me to death too? But I take him out. So that's great. That's a dead Heatran, and I'm a happy camper. Now out is going to come Landorus. And here uh, I switch out. I go out into Celebi as Duck Potter to see what he's going to do. Um, maybe scout out a set a little bit. Yeah, poor Celebi. But there was nothing I could do. It was Death Potter one way or the other. Uh, go out into Uchikoma based on the attack that he locked himself into. Uh, take a lot of damage. I do have Ice Punch, and I'm thinking, you know, if I do that, it'll do a lot of damage. I actually am going to go for the Psychic here. I was thinking maybe he would send out Verizion, although why would he send out Verizion, assuming I was going to... Yeah, that was stupid. I don't know why I did that. I should have gone for the Earthquake dot dot question mark? I really don't. Uchikomo is going to get called back out. Out is going to come Ringo. Going to take a lot of damage from those entry hazards. A lot, a lot of damage. Slowbro is going to go for the Thunder Wave. But, eh, not really that big a deal. Ringo is slow as f*** anyway. Oh god, he made a profanity! Oh no. Um, he's going to switch out. Go out into Skarmory. I hate the Skarmory with a fiery passion. I go for the Ice Beam, and here I am going to get a crit. Now, did that crit matter? I will tell you in the annotations. It, I mean, I am Specs. Max, you know, Specs Modest Max uh, Special Attack. Here I'm thinking he might be greedy and go for the Calm Mind. I'm just going to stay in. I was dead anyway. So, Verizon's going to go for the Giga Drain wisely. He's going to get a crit. I very much doubt that crit mattered. Uh, Ringo is now down for the count. Uh, his Heatran is now down, is also down uh, on his team, so I'm thinking uh, Fire-type moves are a lot safer. Um, he's going to withdraw Verizion, go out into Landorus, as I think I go for the Sludge Bomb. Oh yes, I do go for the Sludge Bomb, just thinking, why the hell not? And I get the Poison, so did that. So that's nice. 
it's going to be a little bit of residual damage against him. And here I do a stupid move. He goes for the Stone Edge, it misses. Uh, I go for the Nasty Plot. I really should have just attacked first turn. Now, I could have. I actually count that I could survive a Stone Edge. And I was thinking, well, if he hit me with Stone Edge, I could survive enough that I could just switch out. I don't know what the plan was there. But had the, that first Stone Edge hit, I would have survived. But what would I have done the next turn? I mean... Oh, prayed for a miss is what I would have done. So here I go for the air slash, take out his Landorus. Huge deal, huge, huge deal. Uh, although I could have just revenge killed easily with some other pokes, but whatever. Out now is going to come Slowbro. At that, you know, he's at full HP. I don't, uh, even a plus two sludge bomb ain't going to do that much. I think I was expecting his, uh, his Landorus to switch out, and that's why I went for the nasty plot. When he didn't, I was like, ooh, that was lucky that I missed. Anyway, Stella Luna did good work in this battle, um, and now it is dead, but it's brought down Slowbro to a very low range of health, and here, based on the Pokemon he's got left, I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor, take out Slowbro, uh, you think kind of wasted, but it, had he switched out either of his other Pokemon, neither of them would have liked getting the Draco Meteor to the face. Out now is going to come Salamence, and I'm thinking, what, are you telling me you outspeed me? Are you also Scar? Um... I think, yeah, if it had been Scarf, it would have uh, outsped me, but I think, uh, but yeah, anyway, take him out. Um, he was bluffing the Scarf, and I could have, um, and I, I mean, if I lost my Hydreigon, I would have lost my Hydreigon. I've gone out into um, Uchikoma and taken whatever Dragon-type move. Anyway, gonna switch out once again, go out into Hanemon, my uh, Infernape, just to deal with his very last Pokemon. I really don't think he can do anything against me. Uh, I mean, Focus Blast at plus one will hurt quite a lot, but if he does go that route, I can Revenge Kill easily. He goes for the Focus Blast, I, uh, it misses again, had it hit, he probably would have KO'd, but I could have Revenge Killed easily with my um, Hydreigon with Fire Blast. So yeah, that is good game. Um, great game, Frogaholic 101, and hey, I won a battle! Woo! This team is completely worthless. So long, folks.